If you like a good makeover, you'll love what I do with this little dresser. So stick around and see how I transform this IKEA Rast 3 drawer nightstand. There's a link below if you're interested in checking out the site. Um, I ordered this directly from their website and I got two delivered and I'm just putting one of them together now. I did the same steps that I do in this video for both of the nightstands. IKEA's furniture is very reasonably priced and it can be made to look any way you like. On the drawers, I filled in all the holes where the poles were originally gonna go, I filled them in with wood filler. I'm gonna sand that down. And then I got this lattice from Home Depot. It's sold by the foot and it comes in a very long strip and you have to cut it down. So I got these cut down. And I'm gonna glue those two pieces on there. And then I had to cut some a little bit more with my jigsaw and I cut these smaller pieces here which are going to fit right here. I'm going to use some wood glue and I'm going to glue these edges down. And then I'm gonna put one drawer pull right in the middle there. And these are the same ones that match the dresser that I just updated. And that's gonna go right there. I am gonna stain this a certain color, which I have not determined yet, but this is pretty much how the drawers are gonna look. I'm gonna add this wood filler into the seams here, here and then over here. And once it's dry, I'll come back and sand it lightly with a 200 grit sandpaper. This is golden oak wood stain. And I'll be brushing the stain on with this and I'll wipe it with a cloth. So after considering many different stain colors, I went with this golden oak. I thought it worked perfectly with the colors that I had just recently painted in the room where these nightstands would go. And um, I put the stain on lightly and then pretty much wiped it off right away. I didn't let it sit for too long. I wanted that nice golden brown color and I think I achieved that. I really wanted the wood grains to show through. Um, I had seen similar dressers or nightstands like this at Home Goods that I really liked because of the way the wood pattern was. And I tried a pre-stained wood conditioner before I applied the stain and I tested it on the back of one of the drawers but I didn't like how it looked. It made the stain too light and it didn't show through on the wood grains as much as I would have liked it to. So I did not use the wood conditioner. That might be something you would want to consider because the wood conditioner is highly recommended but again in my case I preferred this look. And I don't show it here, but if you paint or stain your dresser or nightstand, you'll definitely want to go in a little bit on the two inner sides because when you put the drawers in, you can kind of see um, the rim of the area where, where you don't stain. So you kind of have to go a little bit in on the sides. As you see here, I'm just getting that border, but um, I go back later and add that in and you'll probably see that on another clip. The last step for the end tables is I'm just going to paint them over. I'm just going to use one layer of this clear polyurethane in a matte finish. I want absolutely no shine on these. For the installation of the new handles, all I did was take this leveler and a ruler and I measured the distance between the holes that I'm gonna use and I um, place those with the roller up on the drawer and then held the level so that all the, the starting points could be the same all the way down. 
because measuring the drawers wouldn't matter. By adding these strips, they're not all exact for each drawer and it's better for them to be lined up evenly. So I kind of eyeballed the center of the drawer this way and then just went through like this. And made the placements for the dots here. While this was level, I came down and did the same thing with the starting point matching up with where this is. And then I added the two dots here and the two dots here. I'm gonna go ahead and drill through the holes and then I'm gonna attach the drawer poles. 